Welcome to the Airplane of the Month. With those words, my partner, David Stiles, opened our video each month. An accomplished photographer, Royal Air Force Hawker Hunter pilot, author and speaker, David was a remarkably talented person who will always be remembered by our Travis family. David Stiles was, was a, a, a true professional. Um, what I consider a dear friend, his passing was, uh, I, I was stunned when it happened and when I was told about it. Um, we had exchanged emails prior, you know, a couple of days prior to that in which he wished us Happy New Year and we did likewise to him. Um, we had our good times, you know, we, we'd come in on Tuesdays and we'd kid each other about what we did the past week. Um, he was very proud of his, once he got his green card, which uh, it's now referred to, it's called a green card, it's not actually green anymore, but uh, I used to kid him a lot about being able to speak proper English, and uh, he would, when he got his card, he says, look what I got, Dave, look what I got, and I said, well, that certainly hasn't helped teach you English, has it? So we had a good time, we had a lot of laughs, a terrific person, uh, dearly, dearly missed. Truly miss him. Uh, gentlemen, above all. I met David uh, five months ago when I started working here at the museum. He was uh, uh, repairing the um, Curtis model that had been damaged. And that kind of took me back. Uh, I haven't seen people working on uh, models like that for years, but uh, he was an inspiration to me from his historical background and, and guided me along because it didn't matter whether it was uh, uh, aviation or space. We had different discussions. I'm an aerospace education officer in Civil Air Patrol and so I look into those topics and, and he and I had, uh, chatted about what was uh, in the uh, space display a little bit which helped me with Civil Air Patrol and uh, uh, I was working on being a better docent and looking into different uh, displays that we have here and uh, what we can offer the public and in my research I could tap him to validate that what I was finding online was credible so I, I really uh, enjoyed discussing with him the topics that he, he amazed me. Yeah, uh, David Stiles uh, when I first met him was a couple of years ago and he was uh, Right away, I really like the person. He's an old English man, and his, uh, his personality I really liked. And he was uh, always jolly, always said hello to you, always shook his hand, I remember that. Every time he, every time he met somebody, he always had to shake his hand, you know. He's like, <laughs> Dave, you already, you know, even if you, even if you uh, left and came back, you would say, oh, hi, Bob, and he always shook your hand. That's one thing I remember about the per about David, and uh, he was uh, well liked in the museum. And he, uh, he, I remember he worked on a project, uh, a biplane, recovering it, and it must have taken him quite a while because he didn't like it the first time, so he had to redo it. And uh, but I really going to miss him. He was one in a million. Every morning when he came in in the morning. He always greeted me with a big smile and said, Buongiorno, Enrique. Come vai? I don't speak fluent Italian, but for some reason he always talked to me in Italian. <laughs> so I, uh, every time I saw it, I knew what was coming. And I had to, I went home and tried to figure out how to respond in Italian. So I did. So then one time, same thing, he came up to me and says, Buongiorno, Enrique, como va? And, and I said, bene, bene, molto bene. And he was so surprised, so surprised that I answered to him. <laughs> so uh, that is one of the, the things that I, I will always miss from him, his morning greetings in Italian. And that I'll, I'll, I will take that forever. He say, uh, and again, I will miss my friend. My, my 
first and lasting impression was how, how, how personable he was. He seemed, and, and I believe he did, have a, such a big heart. He was always friendly. I never have, saw him, no matter what the day was, have a grumpy side to him. It was always so easy to talk to, and you, you could sit and talk to him for hours, and then you'd realize, oh, I got something else to do, but it'll wait. Anyway, so it was, it, it was that type of person. I mean, and those are so, so rare type of individuals. And when you do see one and meet one and, and have a chance to talk, you just, you pat yourself on the back, say, I found one. It's, it's, it's amazing because it's, a lot of people don't have time for that or they just don't want to. He was really unique. And I'll always remember him, his accent, what he brought to the table as far as being a, a human being. And I'll always remember that. Dave was always a great person as far as for us and everything, I don't know, for the museum, because he always, if you had a question about a different type of aircraft or something, he was so knowledgeable that he was always uh, going specific and did great detail on these different aircraft. He was, he was always a helpful person, always smiling, always willing to come forward to help anybody I ever seen there and everything. So he, he was just overall just a, just a great asset for, for anybody and also particularly for the museum, for us with the older aircraft that he was so uh, knowledgeable and uh, reminiscent of. He always told us about different stories and everything that he was aware of and everything. And it, it just brought to life a lot of the um, the old old type of aircraft we have around here and everything. So he definitely is going to be missed and everything because of all his professionalism and everything here. And people like him are hard to come by and they're getting fewer and fewer as all of us are aware of. And uh, it's, just, it's just sad that uh, he's no longer be, going to be with us to help us anymore in, in, into the future because I know he'll be, he'd be somebody that would really help us even more into the future because invariably some of us forget things and he was always good at, at remembering. <laughs> so we, we definitely are going to miss him here at the museum for, for absolute fact. I know his family is going to miss him and I know we all do.